So what we're going to do is we're going to look at different ways to create organic shapes. This is a tail piece that goes on the back of an R9T BMW. And I was just going to go over some brief input techniques to get the geometry right. So one of the things you're going to do is you're going to be using images. And here's a top view of the image. Kind of gives you an understanding of what this thing looks like. Since it's the top view, we probably don't want to see through the model. So I'm just going to get rid of the bottom half for this particular view. And it gives us a better representation of what this thing's going to look like. So you can see here's the actual seat, and then here's the actual part. And you just want to have top view, back view. Let's take a look at the back view real fast. It just gives you an idea. Oh, let's see the whole thing. Just gives you an understanding of what this thing's going to look like. You want it to tuck in. You also want this curvature to be the same as the seat. And this is one of the good ways to actually match up the curvatures on the various parts that you're trying to match up. Let's go take a look at the side view. You can see the old light. That definitely had to go. And that's one of the reasons why I created a tailpiece model and then had it 3D printed. One of the things you can see are these are the construction curves. There's one, two, and then there's a third one that actually created the width of the part. And from these three curves, one, two, three, looking at the various images, this is how I actually created the part itself. Now, you know, pictures are good. I think that it's a good validation as to what you're going to be doing, but it really doesn't tell the whole story. I think what you want to do is you want to be working with some type of mesh. And with the mesh, we can actually work on the geometries and get it to fit in real nicely, tuck it in. And of course, after you get your design done, then you're going to want to see what it looks like with the whole motorcycle. It just gives you validation as to what it is you're going to do. These parts are very expensive to print, so you want to well, you can print a hundred of them, but it's going to be a very expensive. So the first one worked pretty good. Uh, this is the second one, and I've just cleaned up gaps around the LED and how it actually interfaced with the seat. And that's kind of the first stage of putting together an organic shape, right? You have to grab the outside world and bring it in to a CAD system. Thanks for watching.